Resident Evil. think so too. Yeah. Do about it. Hold off for a while. But I wonder how those are in react to this. began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure! Emergency landing! the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look! <gasps> Captain! Hmm? What happened? Order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? The government has announced that they have said that all the problems. But as of two years ago, when a similar plan was set up, the local government stepped in and took all the Biohazard. The outbreak occurred in the summer of 1998. It started in the American Midwestern town of Raccoon City and brought hell to Earth. The T-virus was developed as a biological weapon, proliferating amongst the unsuspecting public. 
It metamorphosed them into living death zombies. What just happened? I, I thought they were dead. Billy. Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? You're the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. Edward! Are you all right? What happened? It's worse than... We can't. You must be careful, Rebecca. is full of z zombies and monsters. Zombies and monsters? Uh, uh. Umbrella's mission statement had always been preserving the health of the people. But beneath this bright statement lurked the shadow of Oswell E. Spencer's ambition. This is Rebecca. Over. Enrico! Hello! Can you read me? Please respond! Rebecca, I can hear you. Now listen up. We've obtained detailed information on the fugitive from a document found in the wrecked wagon. Billy Cohen killed as many as 23 people. Over. 23 people? We have also confirmed that he was institutionalized, so keep your guard up. Can you hear me, Rebecca? Over! Stay alert, Rebecca. He wouldn't think twice before killing you. Enrico! Captain! Hello? Hello! It's gonna be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. All right, Miss Do-It-Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca... Why don't you go and try, while I wait here? Um, excuse me, sir. Sir. Okay.
is that guy? Oh. What's going on? Who's controlling the train? Go and check out the first engine car. Listen, we gotta cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't... Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. All right. But you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. If you find anything, give me a call, all right? Delta team, this is Delta team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. This does not make any sense. How was the T-virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... Huh? What happened? deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. Then you apply the brake from here, okay? All right. Billy. What? Be careful. Yeah. This is Billy. I've engaged the control device for the brake. Over. Roger. I'll put the brake on now.
Rebecca? Rebecca! I'm here. Are you all right? Hey, you managed to stop the train. Yes, we managed. We have to find a way out. Research Center? <gasps> the first general manager, Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention! Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T-virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train, too. What? Revenge on Umbrella. ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> Thank you. 
inside. Wasting your time. I have already claimed this place for myself, which means you are trespassing, and I am very territorial. <laughs> It just doesn't make sense. Do you honestly believe this to be the real identity of that crazy young man? Impossible. But if somehow it is true, then Umbrella will be finished. If the old conspiracy against Dr. Marcus is revealed, Mr. Spencer's career will be over. Not to mention ours, too. So, the time has come at last. What are you going to do? I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T-Virus has almost been completed. Our only remaining task is to acquire combat data. You can't be serious. I refuse to abandon my work. I have finished the research on the T-Virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful G-Virus. Do as you wish. I will follow my initial plan and lure the STARS members into the mansion. Their superior combat training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> Fine. In the meantime, something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. I'll find it, set it off, and annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. Uh, oh. Where might you be going, comrade? My next mission. The reclamation of the management training facility was your mission. And now you're just going to walk away without taking responsibility for your failure. The T-Virus has escaped. I will detonate the facility and dispose of it. Comrade, don't forget who's in charge. You can't just do what you feel like. Maybe you need a little reminder. I guess he didn't like his lesson. <laughs> Fine. We have the Talos Retrieval to take care of anyway. Everything... for Umbrella. My pursuers left behind. I regrouped with the Star's Alpha Team. There was no time for delays. Umbrella's command structure was in motion and the real struggle was about to begin. Rebecca! Hang on. I'll pull you up.
Thank you. No mention it. Just keeping my word. We promised to cooperate with each other. Remember? This is Rebecca, over. Rebecca, this is Enrico. Have you managed to locate Cohen yet? Over. Rebecca, answer me. No, sir. I have not found him yet. I'll continue to search for him. Over. Rebecca. My first mission, and I've already disobeyed orders. So much for my great law enforcement career. Oh well, I probably won't live long enough to worry about it. Billy, I just need to know. I need to know the truth. Did you kill 23 people? I'm not going to judge you. I just want to know the truth. It was around this time last year. Our unit was ordered to Africa to intervene in a civil war. Our mission was to raid a hideout of some guerrilla forces located deep inside the jungle. But the hideout was far away from our entry point. Some died from the heat. Others were killed by the enemy. Uh. survived. Only, there was no guerrilla hideout. What do you mean? The idiots in charge had us operating based on wrong information. But we couldn't just go back home empty-handed, oh no. Our leader ordered us to attack an innocent village. Did you execute those innocent people? Forget about it. Doesn't matter anymore. That was then, this is now. Besides, you said you wouldn't judge me. I'm not judging you, but it does matter. Look, now my people think you killed those MPs in the van, but I don't think you did. It was those zombie dogs, right? When they attacked the van, you were able to escape. Isn't that right? You don't get it. I've only got two choices left. Either report to the Marines and serve out my sentence, or keep on running for as long as I can. That's all.
Rebecca! Are you all right? Yes, thank you. The mansion incident. That was the night I led the Star's Alpha team into the Arklay Mountains, and we touched down in the surrounding woods. We were to look into the disappearance of Bravo team. At least, that was the fate. The reality was quite a different story for the unsuspecting members of the Alpha team. After being attacked by a pack of monsters, only Chris and a few others, including myself, made it to the mansion. Everything was going according to plan. Soon, I would have the research data that I needed. <sighs> What is this hall? <gasps> what was that? I'll go check it out. It's dangerous going alone. I'll come with you. All right. I will stay and secure the area. Judging from the age, that guy could be Marcus's son, or grandson.
Maybe I could use this. Rebecca here, over. Billy, I found something here that might make you happy. It's an aerial cable car. Really? That's great. Now we can get out. Yep, let's regroup as soon as possible. Over. Roger. Are you okay, Rebecca? Where is everybody? They should have arrived here before me. Haven't you seen them? That's unfortunate. If we go straight from here, we should arrive at an old mansion which Umbrella uses for research. Come on, let's go. Wait, I've got to find Billy. Billy Cohen? You mean you found that criminal? Yes, but we got separated and... No point worrying about him. He won't make it. Come on, let's go. Sir, please. I need to find him. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you. Rebecca, I... All right, just be careful. I never saw him again. <laughs> Playtime is over. You and your friends no longer amuse me. Good riddance. Now nothing will stop me from getting my revenge.
Rebecca, where am I? You're safe now. Are you okay? What could have done this? They must have been used as test subjects in Marcus's research. He must have kept messing around with the mother virus. Billy? Welcome, young ones. So glad you have joined the party. You are the guests of honor. After all, it's your wake. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Dr. Marcus? No, you can't be. What's going on? <laughs> Ten years ago, Spencer had me assassinated. take over your research. <laughs> Wesker Birkin. However, something wondrous happened. It took the T-Virus inside of my queen 
years to procreate my new life. I live. Now I will have my revenge on Umbrella, and the world will burn in an inferno of hate! <laughs> You'll pay for what you've done! We'll see which one of us is gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> Work on the windows. Got it. I'll use my charm to distract Her Majesty.
Hey, that must be the old mansion that Enrico was talking about. I guess it's time to say goodbye. Officially, Lieutenant Billy Cohen is dead. Yeah, I'm just a zombie now. Chris Redfield, from Alpha Team. Alpha Team? Thank goodness! Proud. Wesker? Tonight was an excellent night for collecting data on Umbrella's biological weaponry and its performance against trained flesh and blood combatants. You set the team up? Excellent deduction, Jill. That was Umbrella's intention anyway. However, I don't need them anymore. The ultimate life form. Tyrants. It's beautiful. Rebecca, we're getting out of here. All right. But the team... We have to save that for later. Let's get moving. It was near daybreak on July 25th when the incident at the mansion drew to a close. Except for Chris and a few others, the RPD stars were wiped out. All of the evidence of the event had vanished with the destruction of the mansion. For a brief moment, I felt the pain of coming death. However, this too was part of the plan. Nobody was aware of it, but I had been reborn. I cast off my frail humanity and became something greater. Raccoon City was a town under the thumb of Umbrella. The virus washed over the city like a tidal wave, and in its wake left a living hell filled with ungodly creatures. 
umbrella under the guise of helping the hapless citizen sent in their private military, the UBCS security force. Jill Valentine, a member of STARS, finds herself still trapped in the nightmare she thought she left behind with the mansion incident. Okay? I'm fine. That's some good shooting. We've got to get out of here. A rescue chopper's on its way. Come with me. Are you with Umbrella? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we landed. Save us? It's Umbrella's fault that all of this happened in the first place. Hey, hey, easy, Chica. I'm just a hired gun. Grill me later. Come on! All right. Let me go back to the beginning. My fight against bio-warfare all started in a zombie-infested ghost town. September 1998, my first and only day as a police officer. Get down! Move! <laughs> Not bad. I never thought any of this stuff my brother taught me would work. Stars? A special force issue, huh? It's my brother's. That's why I'm here. To find him. I'm Claire Redfield. Hey. Leon Kennedy. Isn't she beautiful? I was about to stuff her. Chief Irons? You know him? Prowling around at a time like this. You're after G, too, aren't you? G? Don't play dumb with me! Oh. Huh? Aren't you Dr. Perkins? Ah! I bleed! That's not supposed to happen! Ow. Sherry! Hold on! We need to stop this thing first! Hurry up. Listen. At dawn, this town is going to be destroyed by a missile. 
They're gonna wipe out the town? We don't have much time. Let's move. Leon! What happened? I got shot. There was a woman. Wait, you mean? No, not Ada. She... You're losing a lot of blood. Don't move. I've got to remove the bullet. Who was that? She was about to kill you. That's my problem, not yours. Fine. Don't tell me. But you better start working with me here. Or we'll never make it out of this alive. Please, Ada. I need your help. I can't do this alone. You're right. I'll help you. Thanks. But first, we need to find the others. Don't die, Leon. I owe you. I guess she's on our side, then. Lucky us. This is Hunk. We've acquired all the G samples. Mission completed. G. My creation will save me. But the virus was flawed. Even if you survive the zero conversion with G, you become nothing more than a puppet to its will. Our research was a failure. His only concern now is to procreate. People with a genetic makeup similar to his own could stand to birth a superior offspring. <laughs> Sherry, come on, we have to help her. I can't. I've got unfinished business to attend to. Uh, you've got to be kidding me! If the embryo's been implanted, only the vaccine from the underground lab could save her. William, it's time to finish this. After reuniting with Sherry, we managed to escape from the underground sewer, only to be faced with a new problem. Sherry became sick. She told us that while she'd been wandering the depths of the sewers, she had been implanted with a G embryo. But it wasn't too late. We began our journey into the bowels of the Umbrella facility to retrieve the vaccine. How do you feel? It's okay. You're safe here. You can have it. It's yours now. For good luck. Thank you. Do you miss your mommy and daddy? No. They're always more preoccupied with their research. But you know, I prefer to be alone. Come on, we better hurry. She's getting worse. Okay. Sherry, hang in there. We're gonna get the vaccine to make you better, okay? Cliff! I promise we'll be back. Just wait here. We won't be long. That got his attention! Leon. Ugh! 
Just another one of Umbrella's failed experiments. <laughs> Vaccine worked, and Sherry recovered, but time was running out. The seconds of the countdown to self-destruction were slipping by, and our only escape was through a hidden subway. Alpha team here, respond. I have secured G. I'm all that is left of Alpha Team. I'm en route to the rendezvous point. <laughs> Once again, only you survived, Mr. Death. Roger that. Don't be late. Mission accomplished. The survival rate was 4%, and valuable human resources were lost. But that is war. The mission objective takes priority over everything else. Holding to that principle is why I have never failed a mission. The death cannot die. It is important to remain calm and collected, even in the most extreme situations. In Umbrella's underground laboratory, I forgot that wisdom. Something about the meeting with Leon changed me. First things first, though. I must escape this town and survive in order to accomplish my objective. I can save the truth for after I make it out alive. See this? It's a tissue fragment with Birkin's G-Virus. 
Well, despite some setbacks, you have proven your value to us. Ada, there are two things you must be made aware of. One, in just moments, Raccoon City will be completely eradicated by a government-launched missile. In two, an Umbrella officer will be leaving town in a helicopter. If you are not on it, there will be no way to leave Raccoon City. It is in our best interest that you survive. The G-Virus sample is required. If the T-Virus did this, what would happen if the G-Virus got out? something to tell you about your mother. <laughs> the vaccine that saved you, it was from your mother. She loved you very much. Always has. Right up till the end. No, that's a lie. Mommy never... <laughs> After that, Claire set out alone to find her brother. And Sherry and I were rescued by U.S. government agents. We have the authority to do as we please with you. You and that girl. Just leave her out of this. She's an innocent. An innocent who carries the G antibody. Don't worry. We're taking very good care of her. Bottom line is, you have the experience we're looking for. So if you want this to end peacefully, you really have only one choice. Work for us. And just like that, I found myself in the service of the U.S. government. You can have it. You think I'm reckless? Don't you? You stole the computer core from your own company. I wouldn't exactly call that stable. <laughs> the people who go down in history as its heroes are never stable. Inside UMF-013 is all of the research data. With that, Umbrella will rise from the ashes. There it is. Uh, all those people. Thus, Raccoon City vanished from the map. However, 
Not everything disappeared with the town's annihilation. The nightmare would continue over the next few years as the survivors fought on. Umbrella stock plummeted with government inquiries into their involvement in the Raccoon City incident. Before long, they were able to redirect responsibility for the incident. Part of the blame was cleverly shifted to the American government. Umbrella had strong ties and deep pockets. Thus, they were able to drag out the legal proceedings. Over time, it appeared that all evidence of Umbrella's involvement had vanished with the missile touchdown. How convenient for them. Though fortune has a way of turning when you least expect it. It was the year 2003. Umbrella had a base of operations in Russia where they were working on a new BOW. They were preparing to arm the unstable regions of the world with their bioweaponry. Chris and Jill had joined a regional biohazard containment unit and had heard rumors about this nightmarish facility. They recklessly plunged in to shut it down. They have no idea of the awesome and terrible power that awaits them with the new B.O.W., Talos. Prepare for landing. Stay on guard. We can't afford any mistakes. I really hope this new bioweapon is just a rumor. We'll just take out whatever they throw at us. Chris, something about this floor. Yeah, I noticed. Abandon hope. The nightmare ends here and now. Probably where they test BOWs. I'm sure you understand the thrill of battle and the rush that comes with the feeling of being alive after a good battle. Another Umbrella Psycho. The latest in Umbrella's product line. Old name Talos, a pinnacle of biological weaponry, all controlled by the Red Queen computer, the ultimate weapon. Unfortunately, Talos is out of control. The T virus inside of its body will continue to mutate. Until even a god cannot control it! They're done for. We struck a fatal blow. The end of Umbrella is just a question of time. But... Yeah. 
He's still out there. The Talos project Umbrella placed so much faith in had failed. However, Chris and the others were a little too quick to pat themselves on the back. It was not by justice or faith that they would prevail against Umbrella that day. No, it was only with my help that they were able to succeed. The only thing that can defeat power is more power. Ironic, perhaps, but the truth can be so cruel. The only thing that can defeat power is more power. That is the one constant in this universe. However, there is no point in power if it consumes itself. I will enlist the help of an old friend against our common foe. I will use one pawn to eliminate the other and emerge with the spoils for myself. authorization from the Russian government. That facility is an umbrella base. Yeah. We can't let them get away with this. Chris, it appears our fates are forever intertwined. Detected. Casualties? Over 90% of the research staff have been eliminated. In the primary contamination zone, the survival rate is less than 2%. It is such a waste to destroy this place. But we don't have a choice. With you and Talos, we can always start over. Proceed with the Talos activation. We need him operational before the Russian government arrives. Acknowledged. Resetting activation program schedule. Two airborne objects are approaching at high speeds toward the facility from the northeast. Did you think it would be that easy? I'll enjoy this challenge. <laughs> Comrade Wesker, welcome to my humble abode. I see you are still resolved to go down with the ship, Colonel. Umbrella's not going anywhere. All of the pain, the punishment, and the difficulties help to make Umbrella stronger. It's a shame you couldn't understand. Stand aside. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Here are a few of my old friends I'd like to introduce you to. Charmed. Russia's such a peaceful place, don't you agree? A perfect place for your final resting spot. Codename Talos. A pinnacle of biological weaponry, all controlled by the Red Queen computer. The ultimate weapon. You got Ivan? Not bad, comrade. So this is it. Yes. She was activated that night at the mansion. I extracted her before Raccoon City became nothing more than a memory. Her and I have a lot in common. She linked with Talos desiring more information and more data. She wanted to know the truth, no matter how painful that reality may be. That thing is merely a tool. What it wants is something the user determines for it. It's good that we can be honest with each other. That's the sign of a healthy relationship. 
It's a shame that this friendship has to end. Requested data transfer complete. The summation of Umbrella on one desk. This should come in handy. It looks like you have finished what you came to do as well, Chris. Just as I predicted. Goodbye, fair lady. Data portal initialized. 80 seconds until completion. All data erased. Umbrella will be gone forever. They held the power of the T-Virus in their hands, but they lack the proper vision. The true vision of the future. And now, it falls to me to usher in this new future. appeal the decision on the grounds that the evidence is not admissible in court. The Russian Ministry of the Interior has agreed to cooperate with the FBI in finding the whereabouts of Oswald E. Spencer. Mr. Spencer has been determined to have played a large part in the biohazard that contaminated Raccoon City. An anonymous witness close to the suspect was invaluable in providing evidence about Mr. Spencer's involvement.
My dear Spencer, how the mighty have fallen. Your umbrella has folded, and now you are a fugitive in the same world you once sought to control. Welcome to the Umbrella Archives. Please select the desired service from the menu. We shall meet again before the conclusion of this drama. Then you will learn of the history. I will write for this world. <laughs> <laughs>